Back to 17.5, acquisition of 11 Wellesley Street West from Infrastructure Ontario for park purposes. So uh, we're on questions of staff. Councillor McConnell, just sorry, you finished, Councillor? Yes, sir. Yep. Other questions of staff? No. Councillor Crisanti, you have questions? I, um, yes, no? Yeah, I, I got one. Just one? Okay. <clears throat> you indicated before the break that uh, the, the money is in question. I guess I can't speak to that really, but what is, is Section 42 money? Is that correct? Is this all Section 42 money? This is a question of. Stuff's over there. Oh, yes. Through you, Mr. Chairman, um, I've just been advised by, uh, by somebody in finance that we have in all of our parkland reserve and development fund uh, reserves, we have $135 million. Um, oh, interesting. Okay. So that's parkland reserve, and it's, it's, it's so Section 42. Can you define, is that what that is? Yes. All that's of correct. it. The $135 million under the category of Section 42. Correct. And how is this money dispersed throughout the city? It's... Um, it's spent by district um, and by projects in each district. And um, half of the money approximately goes to park development through the capital budget program. And uh, so next year's capital budget program uh, will involve spending almost all of the portion that's for park development. So it's part of the parks uh, budget, capital budget, or, or can be? Yes. Would we as councillors have the ability to access any of that for our own specific needs in the parks over and above what's in the budget? Um, our process generally is, is we work with uh, councillors to assess and review potential acquisitions and then bring it forward to council for, uh, through government management committee uh, for uh, approval. If, if it, uh, it's a deal we can work okay, through. Okay, no, I, I understand. But the amount, I guess I can't speak to the amount that's in the confidential report. Well, that's that, what I want to well I, can I ask this as a general question? Can I just clarify one thing? Please. That 135 million is what was at, in the account at the end of December 2011. What I don't have is the commitments that council has already approved against that uh, fund for future years. So in the 10 year capital plan, oh, my apologies. In the 10-year capital plan, uh, we allocate, and through the operating budget, we would allocate, when you approve projects, you also approve where the funding can come from, and some of that might be a commitment from this particular reserve. So, I, and I don't have that commitment number with me here today. So, all that you do, I just want to caution that that was the balance at the end, on the end of 2011. What I don't have is any commitments that Council's already made against that for projects that are in the 10-year capital plan. All right, but there is a specific amount that I can't speak to uh, in the confidential report. Could I ask a question in general about that? Well, then maybe we need to go on camera. I, uh, it's just a general question about that amount. Well, you can ask a general question. It doesn't have any monetary. No, I won't have a. I won't have a number attached to it. I just want to refer to that amount that I'm sure you've seen. Is that amount? put aside for a specific use, or can, uh, is it available to any councillor for any park needs that are required within the, or improvements in their area? Um, that money uh, would be from the South District Parkland Reserve Fund, which is available for development, uh, for acquisitions in the South District. Uh, there's a separate North District Reserve Fund. Okay, why only the South, and why are they separate? The um, council passed a policy in approximately 01 that split uh, the uh, cash and lieu money and, and uh, put it into different reserves based on the, uh, the area from which it was collected. So this is um, resulting from development that occurred in the South District. And so um, we've put it a quarter of that uh, cash and lieu in, into a reserve in order to purchase parkland in the South District. Okay, so then it goes back to 
the uh, again with if certain sections of the city are fortunate enough to have more development than others they will then have the benefit of additional monies to spend for whatever improvements they need within their areas any outlining er outlying areas like my my own ward for example in North Etobicoke having virtually uh, zero development no access to that money so again it's an, an issue of equalization and maybe that's another topic for another day but that has to be addressed but we cannot access that money last question the, there is money in the um, in the West District and the North District and East for those different areas um, okay the portion that is above 5% um, that would be somewhat lacking in your area because of the lack of development so I guess that's it thank you okay Councilor McConnell 